Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Um, I decided that I that I make a video about Alibaba and sourcing of products. So even though many people use AliExpress and pure dropshipping, um, a lot of people asked me to make a to make a video about how to source suppliers and products on Alibaba. And well, on Alibaba you can dropship or buy in bulk. Um, I guess more people buy in bulk there. This is also something that I do um, a lot. So I will just show you what you have, what you should look at, and yeah, give you some tips and insights about buying something at Alibaba since it's a little more complicated than AliExpress, where you just basically pick your product and then buy it, like on Amazon, for example. So first of all, Alibaba is a B2B website. So even though AliExpress has relatively low prices they are still not um, wholesale or even manufacturing prices so the items that you see on AliExpress are relatively expensive compared to what you can achieve if you buy something in bulk for example here on Alibaba so Alibaba is also not the best platform um, ever I mean maybe it's the best platform but you can find suppliers even better you can find even better suppliers if you if you approach them directly because many peop many suppliers are still not on Alibaba yet or yeah something like this but on Alibaba the chances that you get real wholesale prices and that you get good prices are way 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 higher than on AliExpress but many people tend to not use it because it's a little more complicated so let's say you want a product in I don't know we could just pick one of these iPhone cases one cent that's a crazy price but yeah so the thing that you have to keep in mind when you see these prices is that very very often these are not the final prices of the of the supplier so let's say I just click on this product and it says well you know here are so many information on Alibaba you get a real information overload if you don't know what's happening so first of all it says 100 to 499 pieces costs 58 US cents so this is already a very very good price and if you buy more than 500 pieces you get 48 cents here you have some information about the seller so the company is Shenzhen SQYD Technology Co Limited and it has the um, trade assurance badge and this is really really nice because trade assurance is that Alibaba basically um, ensures you that you will get your product and you will get them on time and you will get them in the right quality and so on. So if, for example, you start um, a trade assurance order and in this case, Alibaba says, so, so you can see in here, it's their payment protection, on time shipment, product quality pr protection. And Alibaba basically um, covers your loss if something went wrong with the product. So for example, you buy, let's say, 500 of these phone cases and they arrive like one month later than what you um, negotiated with the supplier or they are, let's say, they don't they don't ship it at all or they ship very, very bad quality products or they are broken. In this case, Alibaba first tells them that they um, should give you the money back, but no matter what happens, they give you your money back to a certain amount from their own pockets. So you won't really have to deal with these kind of things if the supplier offers trade assurance. So let's say I would make a, I would make um, an order with this one. I could say buy now. Oh wait, I think I'm not locked in. Yeah, well, okay, of course. Okay, I will just skip this and we'll maybe do it next time. Because I don't have my login credentials right now but it doesn't even matter so the, the most important things are displayed here so here you have the transaction level and you have the the batches the supplier has so in this case the supplier is on-site checked and on-site checked means basically that Alibaba checked that there is a company behind the behind Shenzhen SQYD because every everyone can claim that his company is named Shenzhen SQYD Technology Co but this means that the company behind it has been checked. This doesn't mean too much, of course, because that the company has been checked doesn't mean that it's not a scam or something. I mean, even legal companies can scam you and be 
and, and can commit fraud and stuff like this, but it's at least better than not having it. So it's at least a very, very little kind of protection. Another thing that the supplier can have is um, assessed supplier badge. And this means that the, tot that the complete company has been assessed by a third party um, by a third party company, for example, the German TÜV Rhineland or or Bureau Veritas, there are a lot of companies who do these certifications and they get a report after this where they describe the company and so on. So this is basically the next thing after on-site check is supplier assessment, where you know that the complete company has been checked by a third party and this is better than on-site checked. But for me, the most important thing is trade assurance because this gives you the guarantee that you won't lose anything if something bad happens. This is why not every supplier has this, of course, only the ones who yeah, were confident with this and you have to basically commit to this. And if you place an order with someone who offers trade assurance but he says that he doesn't want to use it, it's basically a very bad sign. So Alibaba even wants that you tell them if a supplier has the trade assurance badge but if you ask him to, to, to use trade assurance for an order and he says no, it's a very bad sign. So make sure that if he offers trade assurance that you also use it. And here you can see the payment methods. So credit card, web money, doesn't offer PayPal, PayPal here, but since uh, the supplier offers trade assurance, it's not that bad. So if he doesn't trade, offer trade assurance, you should definitely use PayPal. If he doesn't offer trade assurance and doesn't offer PayPal, I wouldn't do business with the supplier at all because it's simply too risky to you know just pay them with a credit card or pay, pay them with Western Union or bank deposit you may never see your product at all so this is something you should really take care of here you can see he gets um, different ratings for product as described communication and shipping time this one here seems very good so 4.8 4.4 4 and 4.8 you can chat with the supplier, so this blue thing here means he's online, or you can just write him an email. And here on top, uh, on the bot at the bottom, you can see, you know, more product pictures, more information. Yeah, well, usually, usually looks very bad. So the, the pictures they have here are not meant for you to use them in your store. You can ask the supplier if he can give you custom pictures, or you take one by yourself. I mean, if you buy them in bulk, you have them at home or wherever you want to to ship them, fulfillment center or whatever. And yeah, this is for those of you who don't want to drop ship or who want to make b bigger profits by, you know, getting these discount prices. You also get them all at once. That means you can reship them and the, the, the shipping times f from you to your customers are way lower than on AliExpress, for example. But um, yeah, the biggest the biggest advantage is basically that your profit margin is way way higher, and you can also usually use OE, OEM service. Let's check whether he does this. Well, he doesn't show this here. Maybe if I search for OEM, okay, he doesn't say anything to this. But if if he offers OEM service, that means he can customize your product. For example, with a custom logo, with custom boxes, or whatever. But well, this seems like a quite nice supplier so if you want will, would need a um, screen protector for iphone 7 or 7 plus this would be a supplier who might have the right product for you so i hope you could learn something with with this video about the basics of supplier assessment when it comes to alibaba as you can see here the single gross weight of um, of the product is 0 0.01 kilo they also have their contact info here so skype they have the name of a contact person they have a telephone number. You can usually contact them via WhatsApp as well. And here you have the, the options to, to choose the quantity. And then you get the buy now screen. And you can make your configuration. But usually it's meant that you first contact the supplier and then buy. So usually you don't just buy using a button and, and getting it done. You always contact the supplier first. Yeah, so... Yeah, one last thing, um, if it says, you know, minimum order quantity, 100. So in this case, you could you could think that 100 is definitely the lowest amount possible. But many suppliers also offer lower, offer lower volumes if you ask them. So if you ask this supplier, well, can I have a first order of 50 pieces only? He might increase the price a little bit, but usually he does that. So don't always rely on the minimum order quantity numbers that are shown 
on the product page but contact them and you will find out the real minimum order quantity so in this case if you just want to make a test purchase you most likely you will get a free sample you just have yeah just have to pay shipping shipping will be way more expensive than these 58 cents but you will most of the time get sample orders and you will most of the time also be able to to get lower orders than these hundred pieces here so I hope the video was interesting for you I will make more videos about Alibaba and bulk purchasing if you have questions just leave a comment and I will answer your questions in the next video thanks for watching and see you next time